Franco Cavallari coming to you from the gym to talk a little bit more about that cholesterol post, more specifically the whole egg versus egg white post to address the cholesterol questions that came out of there. Okay, so I want to talk first and say this. One key point I want to make, the central nervous system, the brain, spinal cord, has its own manufacturing source of cholesterol. And the cholesterol in the body, the peripheral tissues, manufacture their own cholesterol, okay? So the pool of the body, the peripheral tissues, does not cross over to supply cholesterol to the central nervous system. These are separated, completely separate. Also, the dietary cholesterol you may consume from your food, okay, your body will absorb less than 10% of that. So don't worry about the cholesterol in the eggs. It's not contributing to the elevation and escalation of cholesterol that's made in your body. The biggest problem we have in terms of cholesterol mismanagement are two things. One is the diet that's contributing to prompts or signals to have the body make more cholesterol, okay? High glycemic index foods, high fat, high saturated fat diets, okay? Now, different from polyunsaturated fatty acids, I'm gonna explain that. The high glycemic index diet that also can supply these are processed foods, high saturated fat content and trans fats, they will cause the body to make more cholesterol and more of the LDL that can be pathogenic. Now, regular LDL, usually the doctor will test for total cholesterol and then how much HDL you have in proportion to LDL. Because HDL, they call the good cholesterol. It brings cholesterol in to the tissues for storage or for use, while LDL brings it out for, um, uh, for tissues that require cholesterol throughout the periphery of the body. It's this LDL, LDL, that's out there supplying cholesterol to the tissues when it's abundant can be a problem. The HDL is bringing it back for actual storage, for storage, okay? So the bigger problem that happens with the high saturated fat diet is that you produce more VLDL, very low density lipoprotein. That's the one that will kill you. That's the one that's more associated to and with the cardiovascular diseases, and the pathology of the cerebrovascular and, and cardiovascular uh, disorders. Okay, so, so you wanna keep your diet low in high glycemic index foods, low in saturated fat, but high in polyunsaturated fats and monounsaturated fats. What are those? Mackerel, sardines, tuna, salmon. These are the oils that supply abundance of DHA and EPA, docosahexanoic acid and acosapentanoic acid. These are the fats that the body is supposed to make from the essential fats, from the plant fats, but most of us don't make enough of them, and so we need kind of a boost to be able to supply these pre-made fats, EPA and DHA. So you look up those fats in the fat supplement you'll take, those are polyunsaturated fats versus the saturated fats that you get in most terrestrial animal fat, okay? And so those PUFAs, polyunsaturated fats, will produce a better outcome of your total cholesterol, help lower total cholesterol, help lower LDL, and help raise HDL, okay? And so um, this is why the Mediterranean diet, in fact, I'm gonna tell you, the Mediterranean diet was studied in the context and in parallel to the use of statin drugs for the reduction of mortality. And I'm telling you, statin drugs do not reduce mortality in terms of cardiovascular health. But the, but the, but the Mediterranean diet with the PUFAs, the polyunsaturated fats, does significantly. I report on these on this research in that potentialwithin.ca podcast system. You can look at that and there's studies associated. I don't I do not repeat anything on that podcast that does not have studies pre-selected to make sure that I have that put aside for you. The other thing I want to talk about is statins in relation to cholesterol. You know that cholesterol is loaded in the brain. Your your brain represents two percent of your body mass but the brain can have 25% of your total body cholesterol. That's amazing, why? Because the brain requires cholesterol for communication of signaling and for structural, uh, uh, structural integrity of the neuron, myelin sheath and so on. And so if you're limiting cholesterol because of statin drugs or limiting in the diet, the body will actually produce it, but the statin drugs can interfere with HMG-CoA, which is a specific enzyme the body needs, rate limiting, enzyme for cholesterol production. Statin drugs will also cross the blood-brain barrier, reduce cholesterol in the brain, and it's now shown that that can contribute to cognitive deficits. In fact, there's tons of research, and this has become so confusing because everybody's representing what they want to represent for their own bottom line. And here's the problem. 
High cholesterol levels have been shown to contribute to AD, Alzheimer's disease. But low cholesterol levels are also shown to contribute to AD. And in fact, there's a missing link that people don't talk about, and that's oxysterols, which is oxidized cholesterol. You can talk, look at the podcast for that. Bottom line is, eat your eggs. Don't worry about that cholesterol. Your brain needs cholesterol. Your brain does not function without cholesterol. As you get older, research irrefutably shows, research irrefutably shows, the elderly who end up in hospitals, who have very low cholesterol levels, higher rate of morbidity and mortality when you're sick. Chew on that.